Good morning, my little friends. Are you ready? Today we are about to dive in to a new adventure. It's gonna be amazing. And we're gonna get to splash around and learn some amazing new things about how much God loves us. And you know what's even more fun? There's new songs, there's new games, and we might find some new friends to hang out with to make this week extra special. So I am so glad that you are ready to splash on in with me. Are you ready? Let's go.
Ahoy there! You must be new here. It's me, Shelly. I'm part of a school called the Finder Fish. As you can see, my submarine is shaped like a fish. It helps me swim around with some of my best fishy friends. We Finder Fish follow our friend, Sandy Shark, who leads us on great adventures to help other fishy friends who are in trouble. Anyone can be a Finder Fish, so I came up to the surface to look for some sea creatures, just like you, to join us on today's adventure. Would any of you like to be a finder fish with me? Yes! Well, bubbling bubbles, you're all going to be great finder fish. I can't wait for you to meet Sandy Shark. He's the friendliest shark you will ever meet. And he leads us on great adventures. We better dive in and find out what he has for us today. As I dive down deep, I like to sing a song along the way. Now, stand up, dive in, and follow along with me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? Swimming near me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? I see a seahorse swimming near me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? I see a baby shark swimming near me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. That was fantastic. You can go ahead and rest your gills by taking a seat. Soon, Sandy Shark will be along to take us on a fish-finding adventure. But before he gets here, you need to know the two rules of being a finder fish. My friend Ray is the best at telling us the rules. And here he comes now. Okay, hello there, finder fish. I'm Ray, and here are the rules. Now, rule number one is to be kind. Everyone hold up one fin, that's it, raise them up, and let me hear you say, be kind. Be kind. Now remember, you can be kind by listening to everyone you meet. So if you can be kind by listening, give your listening ears a click with your fins and say, click, click. Click, click. Perfect. All right, now. Rule number two is to be safe. All right, so let me see you hold up two fins this time, okay? And say, be safe. Be safe. That's it, great. Now, as you follow along, you can be safe by keeping your fins to yourselves and staying in your spot. So how about this, if you can be safe let me see you give your fins a clap and then rest them in your lap. Ha <laughs> ha! Have a good time! So long! You look fantastic! Following Ray's rules are sure to help us on our next adventure. Speaking of adventures, here comes a message in a bubble. Sandy Shark sends us these when he's coming to take us on a great adventure. Ahoy there, finder fish! Our fishy friend Pearl wants to tell her friends in Plankton Park how much Jesus loves them. But she is scared to share that good news. We need to find Pearl and help her know that we can share Jesus with everyone. Here I come! Just follow me for an adventure through the sea! I'm so glad you all decided to join me on today's adventure. As you follow along, I have a story to tell you from God's Word. Do you finder fish know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right! 
to help you see this story from the Bible, you better put on your special story goggles. Zoop, zoop. Now you're ready. Long ago, a big group of people who loved Jesus were all gathered together in a home. While they were there, they heard a sound like a strong wind. Jesus was sending his Holy Spirit to come be their helper. The Holy Spirit gave the people power to share the good news of Jesus with everyone, even people who were different than them. When this happened, Peter stood up and began speaking to the crowd. He shared the good news of Jesus and his love for us. How Jesus had come to earth, showed us how to live, then died and came back to life so that we all could live forever with him in heaven one day. As the crowd listened, they knew they wanted to follow Jesus, and about 3,000 people joined the believers and were baptized on that day. All of these people began to follow Jesus because Peter was brave enough to share the good news of Jesus and his love with them. Jesus wants you to share this good news too. Here are some ways you can share Jesus. You can tell your friends that Jesus loves them. You can invite your friends to come to church with you. And you can share Jesus by loving others. So here's what you need to know today, Finder Fish. Everybody say this after me. Share. Share. Jesus. Jesus. And that's exactly what Pearl needs to hear when we get to Plankton Park. Stay close, we're almost there. found Pearl. She looks so scared. Let's tell her what we learned today so she will know that she can share Jesus. Then maybe she'll tell her friends at the park how much she loves them. Finder fish. On the count of three bubbles, let's tell Pearl what we learned today. Ready? One bubble, two bubbles, three bubbles. Share. Share. Jesus! Jesus! Hi, Finder Fish. I'm so glad you found me. I didn't know that I can share Jesus. How do I do that? Finder Fish, our friend needs some help. There are some questions that are sure to help us all know how to follow Jesus. Let's see if we can answer them. Can Pearl share Jesus by saying, I like blue, or Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Pearl, you and all of us can share Jesus by telling our friends how much Jesus loves them. Now, can Pearl share Jesus by being mean to others or by loving others? Loving others. Pearl, you can share Jesus by showing love to others. And we know that you can do a great job sharing Jesus with all of your friends in Plankton Park. You can share Jesus with every single fishy friend you find. Hooray! Thank you, Finder Fish. You're welcome. Sandy Shark, lead us where we need to go. Let's all stand up and sing a song as we follow along.
well, friend. Glad we could help. And that was fantastic singing. You can sit back down and rest your sea legs. That song reminds me of a verse in the Bible. It goes like this. Just repeat after me. Jesus said, Jesus said, Come follow me. Come follow me. Mark 1, verse 17. Mark 1, verse 17. And that's exactly what we learned today. I better get you back to the shore. But before we go, I think some of our fishy friends want to have a race on the way up. Swim along and cheer for the fishy you want to win. Now we've made it ashore. Until I see you again, remember that you and I can share Jesus. See you later. Did you have fun? Did you get to jump on in and dive into something new? What was your favorite part? Really, I like that too. It's amazing and I can't wait to flash on in and learn some more things as we dive into God's Word. See you all next week. Bye!